Right, hello guys, and this is launch day for Star Fox Zero uh, in the UK. Um, I think it might be launched everywhere, actually, today. Uh, but I got the first print edition from game, so I got Star Fox Guard as well. I've been excited about it, and this is the first time I've played the game. And I'm intrigued with this game. It's been delayed quite a lot. It's notable. Okay, thank you, Pepe. Um, I haven't been able to hook up the gamepad to audio as well. I'll look straight into it. No menu. Right. Okay, right triggers fire. We've got some sort of Splatoon style aiming as we were expecting. Okay. And the, uh, I should say I'm only able to record the TV screen at the minute. I haven't got the gamepad uh, video being recorded either. Uh, as well as the gamepad audio, so it probably wasn't the best option uh, for my first video, but we'll get along just fine. I'll look, see, so that, now I'm holding the gamepad at the centre, that has already moved off to the centre. So like how you can recalibrate in Splatoon, looks like we're going to have to do the same thing. Okay, Pepe stating the obvious as ever in a in a Star Fox tutorial. Uh, I'll just say I am a big Star Fox fan, really. Um, although, of course, it was Star Wing for me, being a PAL gamer. I uh, really enjoyed Star Wing back in the day. Um, although I had a PlayStation, I was always, always jealous of Lilac Wars and I had a friend who had a 64 so I'd always play Lilac Wars whenever I could at his and I've played a lot of it since Star Fox 64 so far so simple um, I played a bit of Star Fox Adventures on Gamecube wasn't that keen uh, to be honest Right, okay, that's fine. Let's flick the switch. Um, I prefer my Ze oh, prefer my Zelda games to be Zelda. Uh, to be honest, uh, but I haven't played Star Fox Assault. Although, from what I've read about it, I'm not missing a huge amount. Let's try and get this guy. Here we go. Oh, okay, danger. Right, so that. Shit, that is the danger there, see? I'm looking at the gamepad to tilt to get my aiming, but because I'm looking there, I'm not paying attention like that to where the R wing's going. It has. Thank you, Peppy, for setting the obvious. Uh, so I haven't played Assault. I um I played a lot of Command, although I didn't like it. Um, I always thought uh, a Star Fox game would go well on a handheld. I was disappointed that we didn't get a SNES style Star Fox game on uh, on the Game Boy Advance. And so Command didn't really do it for me on DS. Um, I much preferred uh, the cancelled Star Fox 2 uh, for the SNES, which I have played um, a couple of different ROMs of. And they were Fairly different the versions I played, but I still prefer that to command. Um, and of course, I loved the brilliant 3D remake uh, slash port uh, that we got on 3DS. That was really a great, great version of that game. And this kind of looks like another reboot of Star Fox 64, which was essentially a reboot of the original Star Fox. 
which is no bad thing in my book as long as it plays well. And so far, so good. Quite pedestrian. Tutorial. There we go. Right, because I'm in all range mode. That's very weird. Don't crash. Ooh. Right, so when you're locked on like that, looking at the TV is no real option. I'm having to look at the gamepad here. Right. Okay. Well, I mean, the kind of Splatoon style control comparison, it does fit, but this is far more complicated because you've got this, you're actually using the gamepad screen for your fine aiming as well. I mean, we got. See there, that's quite weird. So, if you're aiming at something on the screen and you're lining up the the little squares, it doesn't actually shoot what you're looking at. If you line it up on the gamepad, it doesn't look lined up on the TV. So you can't really use that aimer. Okay, right. Let's go back to this. Let's lock on to Pepe. No, okay, right. I have to use the gamepad screen for this. Right, now what? Oh, excellent. Okay, I've got Pepe. Right, I've got to gather everyone, haven't I? Let's see who else is here. Slippy. I'm going to use the gamepad to follow him. So shoot him. Too bold. Got more. Where's Falco? There we go. We go. Got them. Right. So, should I have everyone? Okay, now what? Falco, always impatient. Always has been. Alright, so we're straight into the first level. No. <laughs> okay. Okay, so they're really... Um, that makes me think that Nintendo are concerned about the controls. Training? New? I thought we should... Let's go for the main game. That makes me think Nintendo must be slightly concerned about the controls. Fox McCloud. I'm, I'm quite pleased with Star Fox. An elite fighter squadron established by ex cornerian flying ace James McLeod, my father. Five years ago, my father was hired by General Pepper of the Cornerian Army to investigate strange activities on planet Venom. He never returned. Despite being a backwater little rock in space, Venom had become the base of operations for Andros, a crazed and banished scientist. Three pilots flew out on that mission. My father, James, his best friend and wingman, Peppy Hare, and Pigma Dengar, an honorless slime ball who volunteered for the assignment. Turns out Pigma was working for Andros the whole time. No one saw it coming. Pigma betrayed Peppy and my father and led them straight into a trap. In the chaos that followed, my father sacrificed himself to create a diversion so Pepe could escape. Barely making it home with his life, Pepe knew it fell upon him to report the courageous last moments of James McLeod. At the same time, he delivered the news that Andros had amassed a terrifyingly huge army and intended to conquer the entire Lilat system. And so began the Lilat Wars. 
so yeah effectively this is a, a retelling of five years of past. star fox 60 which was a retelling of the cornerian army and star wing i think spreading to every planet in the lilat system to carry on my father's legacy i brought star fox out of retirement i've got the latest technology and i'm filling the team with pilots i know i can trust here's the roll call then Slippy Toad, the team. a close friend and a gifted mechanic. Falco Lumber, I never really minded Slippy. I didn't quite see what the fuss was about. Peppy Hare, my father's old wingman, a seasoned pro and the glue that holds the team together. That brings us to today. While en route to planet Cornaria, we received an urgent message from General Pepper. Apparently, Andros's army appeared out of nowhere and launched a full-scale attack on our once peaceful capital. Now's our chance to honor my father's legacy and restore the Star Fox name. You hear that, Andros? We're coming for you! Okay, so far, um, so Star Fox, it's always kind of felt like it was stuck. In the early 90s, I thought this franchise. Maybe that's why we haven't really seen much of this, this Nintendo series over the years. You know, it, could, it feels old. It feels like those sort of early 90s uh, cartoons used to watch. Stuff like Bucky O'Hare, things like that. Okay, well, oh right, okay, on the gamepad, I've got to do some stuff. Yeah, I've got to move around. I'll sort of shoot, Falco. Okay. Yeah, on you, mate. Okay, he's not that bothered. Right, game time, first level. Alright, boys, let's rock and roll! Okay, so we're in the game proper now. That was a nice effect. Open the wings. Okay. Get them. Okay. Immediately don't know where to look. Uh, I can't tell which is... Oh, that was like a shot. I can't tell which is better. Gamepad or TV. Get him. Even moving around much here. There we go. Right, already, it's tempting to just look at the gamepad and almost treat it like virtual prop, where you're just going to shoot on rails, literally on rails. When you then comes to flying around as well, that makes it a little bit weird. Um. I've got to say, it doesn't look particularly incredible so far, does it? True to form on Wii U, there's not much in the way of pixel smoothing. Um, frame rate seems solid so far. Kind of plays like like Star Fox. Oh, there we go. Something there. Don't know what that was. Had a shield in it. Oh shit. Where am I looking? Okay, go up. Up. Oh, it's those guys. Oh, damn it. I did like them, how they th always throw those weird beams and things at you in the old ones. Him. There's another one with a shield. I don't know what the shield thing is. Get them. Can I get the ring for some more shields? Yes. It's 
So we've got a lot of the same uh, enemy models I'm seeing here from uh, Star Fox 64. At the minute, I'm mostly just using the gamepad actually because it's easier to, it's not easier to aim. Phase one, okay. So it looks like the levels are broken down into sections. Okay, okay, all range mode. Again, this is feeling very, very Star Fox 64 to the point where it almost feels remake. It's had that problem, didn't they? Oh, break, break. Nice. Somersault, wilder somersault. It's, I am struggling a bit knowing which screen to look at because to, to play it like how you think you would play Star Fox, you want to look at the, at the TV screen. Oh, I can look on, I forgot about that. You want to look at the TV screen, but then the green uh, sights that you have, don't they don't actually line up with your targets on the television, only on the game panel. So it's kind of like uh, like it's forcing you to use the gamepad for your uh, your fine aiming. Little jaggies on there. It's smooth though. I mean, there's a decent draw distance. It's smooth. There's plenty of detail. It looks kind of like a GameCube game in HD. then it's that all-important playability. Come on, I'm, right, I'm definitely having to use the game pads for these. Right, red dot, I'm guessing, shoot. Come on, you bastard. Where am I now? Shit, that is the problem, see? With the game pad, is that you don't quite know where you're heading. Uh, where am I going? Oh, the lock on, let's try and get that, there we go. There we go, so that was locking on and using the game pad. Maybe that's the preferred option, is ch choose your target on the TV, then lock on, then aim with the game pad. But that's fine for these slow moving targets, but what, what about when the screen's full of stuff? What's that tunnel? Let's go through there. Okay, oh, we've got gold ring there. Um, I mean, to be fair, the Wii U is powering two 60 frames per second displays. And it's not the most powerful thing in the world either. There we go, get these guys. Too complete. Okay. Ah, there's the. Uh, okay, I was flicking the left, right, uh, the right stick, left to right. Okay. So as well as boost and break on the right stick, you've got tilting left or right. This must be the boss. Target mode engaged. Let's take down that enemy. Target. So this is another one from free range mode. Okay, it looks like the camera is fixed all the time. So now you have to use the game for shit for aiming. It's it is strange. I think that they 
completely forced the controls in this way. That was easy. What now? What else do I shoot? These little things? It's not making the boss health me to go down. Ah, okay, right. Let's fly through here. So you did used to get a lot of this in Starwind flying through. I uh, wonder when this was going to come up. Okay, so now we've got the uh, chicken walker thing. Let's have a look at the control. Steer. I'm sure if I can. Okay. All right, you don't have a sidestep. Which I thought you would. Both the left stick and the right stick turn. Oh. Oh, but if you lock, you do have a sidestep. Get stuck in, right. Was that the boss? Have some. Shit. I really don't know where to look now. Screen or gamepad, I can't decide. Uh, gamepad. Right. So at least in the game pro Gamepad, I can make sure my hits are gonna register. Right. Got you, that's simple enough. Okay, that's that. Like, well, first impressions. Ah, uh, there's the little metal things. Where so now you've got to collect all five of them, I'm guessing. Uh, first impressions, uh, it's fun, but it's a little bit like the same old Star Fox. For the third time. It looks okay. The uh, frame rate was solid. Um, it sounds good. It plays smoothly, although it will take some real getting used to. I think, to be honest, it's kind of more of the same, which is a very strange thing to think about a series where we haven't had a game in so long. Of course, that was just the first level, but it felt remarkably similar to Star Fox 64. Do check out the game if you're a Star Fox fan though, uh, and especially if you're a Splatoon fan, because I think you'll get on well with the controls. Okay, speak to you next time.